first uh, episode of uh, audio talks uh, in the stream we'll try and talk as much as we can about uh, audio issues and things related to our field to music production etc etc so now uh, sorry for any kind of technical itch uh, you might experience that's a fast also for me I've been doing this professionally and uh, but with another kind uh, of equipment so right now i'm using as a webcam a tablet a very old tablet so for this you are going to see like three frames per second but let me know how it sound and how it uh, it looks so hi brads how are you let's wait for some of the people to enter so we can start the we can start the discussion also. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm trying to invite also the people to remind to send reminders and and see. So. 
Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm using a very old, like the, the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7, something that went, that was uh, in the market something like 10 years ago. And I'm using it over Wi Fi. So you can imagine, like, the kind of things um, that might uh, might happen. So, yeah, today I wanted to talk about audio innovations. I mean, there are literally any innovation from um, in in our field, like since since we started, since the since the the advent of the digital technology. The other day I was browsing and I found a very nice videos of this guy, Rob Scallion, try and record in a modern studio using the wax cylinder. So this kind of triggered, you know, a series of thought uh, about are we really progressing? So what are we doing to progress? What are we, uh, what are the steps we are taking to, to move further with, with sound? Like apart from, uh, apart from the new plugin, new reverb, new sound, or the new software, like what's, what's a real innovation we are experiencing in terms of workflow, in terms of, anything because as a professional of course um, as a professional of course I experience things in a in a different way compared to what maybe a, a customer can do uh, no, is the I guess is the connection between uh, between uh, between this and um, between the tablet and my router. But let me check on my on my app. Yeah. So of course I will also uh, I, and then it's it, then it's me then it's not you most most definitely. So I might assume is my connection. But of course, if you don't, if you lose anything, just like, just tell me, I'll try, I'll try and see like how to, to correct it. Hello, Moses. Hello, Moses. How are you? How is Kenya? How are you taking care of Kenya with me? About, uh, for me on the video? No. On the video, no, it's just something I'm putting as a loop, like, uh, just to show you. So, yes, I'm, I'm, the, 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 the thing I was thinking about, like, is there any real innovation about what, uh, can't you hear about the video? Can't you hear the video or me? Let's see, because if you if you can't hear the video, it's kind of normal. Wait, let me also let me check at this point. Uh, yeah, no, no pawn the video or no pawn me. Because the video is normal. The video hello now you can see okay okay you can hear my voice
Perfect, perfect. End of the video. I can see my. Okay. Uh, well, so the audio on the video is not is not there. Like like I remove the video. That that's a loop. I put it as a loop. Yeah, I get it when you say pixelated. Uh, which is okay. I'll I'll solve it. If you lose part of the conversation, you'll tell me. Uh, I'll repeat. Of course, I'm. I love to resolve. I love to sort out. You know the kind of quality. Maybe even purchase a um, a proper a proper audio adapter. No, sorry, not audio adapter. A PCI adapter to to use the Wi-Fi properly to extend the Wi-Fi up up to here. Um, because I had to kind of kidnap a room uh, here from my family to, to do the stream. You know, I'm back to live with my family with all the difficulties that it can entail. And so, yes, as I was watching this video, like I asked myself, since the uh, wax cylinder, so since the origins of audio recording, did we really progress? Did we really made any progress? What has what has changed? Uh, in this video, you can see. Then I'll give you. I'll give you the link. Is uh, Rob? Uh, the guy is called Rob Scallion. Uh, and basically, they are going to record several things using this. Let's say the the, the fast audio recording technology. So this wax cylinder. Mm, the wax cylinder was the medium only on one ear and no that is not good at all let me see if i can change these things like now now mm, oh okay on your earphone okay let me see if i have like a mono thing like something i can on my filters okay um, hmm. Hmm. that is funny wait let me let me try and solve and solve this otherwise i love to put uh, what can i put something only left is it disturbing you too much no okay because i have to look for a fix the good thing of this software i'm using is called obs i can um, that's good i'm taking notes i can even use my my plugins, you know, whatever I bought in these years, I can plug my my license here and uh, and boom, and use it. Uh, which means okay. Uh, audio properties. Let me let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I can change it on the go. Uh, Ah, no, it requires a restart, but I'll fix it then for for next time. I don't really want to, to restart for now. Anyway, so yes, what's what's your experience, first of all, in, in sound engineering, in music production? What, 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 what's your background? What do you do? So we try to, to stay in tune. And also understand like your your knowledge. So as you as you as you write, uh, basically, basically, uh, ah, I see Herman. Hi Herman, how are you? Herman is another student of mine back in Kenya. It even subbed, sorry, followed. And so basically, yes, so 
you mainly play live ok I'm recording a few on real studios and the number of songs we recorded together actually two <laughs> but that's another story so the 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 magic thing of this video actually is the fact that you can see how a very old technology so the waxing the wax cylinder is merged to modern recording techniques so using pro tools on a touch screen surface so the, the very old merges the, the the very new so what has changed what 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 is it that um, that that can change that can um, that we can improve well personally in my opinion uh, you know you can always say we discovered everything like in 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 any kind of field like you can always say with um with a good uh, with a good uh, with a good uh, with a good approximation that we discover everything we really discovered everything but again i think that in my opinion what has what what, what the, the biggest innovation what is going to come very soon is not on like on the thing itself it's not a super new astonishing reverb or this DAW that will allow uh, to, to do unknown things to your audio. What I personally think is that is the process that is going to change. So the workflow. The workflow in a sense uh, like in the meaning of how we do things. Do you have a home studio? Where, where? Let me see how international I am. See technology. Moza, Mose. So, for example, if you think about reverbs, no? Now that I'm preparing my, my new Skillshare class about reverbs, so please go and subscribe there. Uh, reverb before when it was invented it was so resource expensive so so demanding in terms of resources that it could only be used a studio could only have maybe you know one or two reverb units not to talk about when the reverb was a physical thing so like a reverb chamber like a nico chamber or uh, you would have had physically to record the reverb you know in, into the mix and not mixing it later on so from there what what really changed in the in how we approach for, again for example to reverbs it's how we use it, it's how we put, how, how we approach to them into the, into the workflow. Hi Elsie, how are you? Welcome to this, to this um, cove of uh, nuts. Don't forget to put the, the, the follow button which should be to you here. There's a little hat, bloop, you click it and they'll be happy. For you, it's free. Uh, so, like in a studio, earlier on, a reverb could have even cost you, uh, like, thank you, like 200, uh, let's see, 200, sorry, guys. like five thousand dollars a single a single reverb unit no so of course of course it's like uh only few people could could afford it and use it 
with a lot of parsimony like not really you know the way we do it now no maybe you open uh, whoever plugins libra library and you find it has like a selection of 10 revabs even if that person had to buy all the plugins you you imagine i mean you can already imagine it's like um something that but even 30 years ago was unthinkable no so it's actually how we use it now we can guys don't be malicious but we can put it in place we did not imagined uh, we did not imagined it before for example a reverb nowadays can be used for sound generation so i can use my reverb to create my sound like to to add on it to as almost as a as a synthesizer we can say as a resonator no so i feed my reverb with a sound that reverb is going to you know do its thing reflection makes my sound bigger boom i have a sound which is different no so i've used that reverb in a creative way we say we can say like from a sound generation point of view so it's not the old technical way we used to put our reverb uh, in use or again for example since now the technology is allowing me to again think about my plugins think about my outboards ah thank you tony i haven't forgot you yet <laughs> so sorry i, I kind of lost um the the, the, the thread yeah it's like it's now the the, the this digital digital technology is allowing us even to think about plugins and outboard in a total different way again we can put the reverb in places we didn't thought before and use it with different purposes for example uh, even in mastering no i can sidechain my reverb in the master so i can sidechain it with the kick so every time you know the kick is pumping i have this opening and closing effect now uh, it's not really like that but it's just to give you an example on something on something you can you can you can do for real so yes basically this is the innovation we have to expect it's not really the thing like there are no new mind-blowing plugins uh, getting out getting in the market like pretty much i mean once you put a reverb once you compress your sound once you shuffle all the samples they are once you limit it once you you delay you modulate it you put this chorus effect effect etc etc thank you spanora thank you for the follow so like once you do this what what is left so is in where we can put those things so it's also how we think about this thing uh same with a compressor now a compressor like before with analog audio a compressor had a certain function no? on this i invite you to um to see to watch and subscribe to my lesson about the compressors on um, on skillshare it's like one an introductory lesson of one hour Uh, Herman, ask it, ask, ask that question to me on the chat, so I will be able to answer. But yes, I can present it as a podcast. Actually, I can even to call it audio podcast, but it will be very much confusing. Um, 
so for example i was telling you like nowadays with digital technology i can even bend at my will a compressor and making a reverb out of it so it's about the uses you know when someone tells you think out of the box that is the key so you take something you take a tool that has a specific function but you also have the skill the ability of thinking about that tool in a different way and boom with a compressor or it's better to say with a set of compressor you have something which is different total but guess what it works it still works and it even works better Yes, uh, yes, Herman. I can present it. I can present it as a podcast. Where do you want to present it? Like in general, like for you to download and listen to it uh, using HDMI bundles, HDMI Wi-Fi, or what? Now this is a fast, so it will be it will be on the Twitch website. I will find a way to download it. But um, but I'm also going to put these ones, uh, this whatever I'm doing here, on a YouTube channel for later fruition. So there, then you can do you can do whatever you want. Uh, there was a friend of mine here that once he said once you are printing something on my screen i'll be able to download it hey brads you will tell us how to download the videos from twitch <laughs> so yeah what what do you think what do you think about what i've just said about you know thinking about uh, thinking out of the box in audio Like what's what's your experience with it? Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, Tony. Thank you. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> no, yeah. Basically, we were talking about you know thinking about things out of the box. Yes, <laughs> you know that article is still receiving like 20 views a day on iTunes. Um, yes, I don't know. I mean, whichever platform works for you the best. Uh, it's like I like Twitch because it's immediate, you know, chop chop. I'm online. Um, I can do a lot of things with it. Uh, and since I'm also a nerd, I can even use it, you know, to stream my my match on uh, death simulator simulator with tony <laughs> uh, thank you tony thank you tony we'll uh, we'll meet soon we'll have our match very soon so yeah basically that's that's it if you think like even facebook live or youtube uh, live or itunes or whatever it is you just you just tell me thank you thank you donny see you see you soon eh? also maybe i don't know if i should uh, i could spam this on uh, kp kps but i don't think those guys are interested But anyway, yes, with Tony, very soon we'll also he also has a um, as a Twitch channel, so please subscribe. Though it does gameplay, so it, it's totally different from uh, from it from from what I'm doing. So yes, what what's your experience in thinking out of the box with audio things? Like, what have you experienced so far? Like, what was the most bizarre thing you've been doing with it? Let's not make it be a monologue. Let's let me see. Let me see. What is that? Mm. Yeah. So you think you 
just you just lock there boom you just you just see it which could be an idea when you did an emergency when we did an emergency dead cat yeah <laughs> I laugh because I remember, but maybe you can um, you can um, you can in here. yes 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 yes. What was the song by the way? I I remember, but I don't remember the song. We use a sock. Um, no, it wasn't a sock. Um, uh, what we did on note on the road, it was the. Something that my granny did with uh, she needed, you know, with the to hold my handheld recorder. Recorder. It was a wool thing of some sort that I put it on the sock uh, in order in order to do it. Let me let me see on the since it's on YouTube. All of this is you know documented is there yeah I have to do the other song but hey so well let me see if I can find yes this here uh, Wait a bit so I can do the the selection. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I can't. Oh, yes, I actually can. So that was a high fidelity lo-fi effect so that's curious because it's an oxymoron but <laughs> but yeah I mean like sometimes you might need to do um, to work with these things like to use an old sock for example to to have that kind of effect no sorry a phone on, a, on an amplifier to have that old phone effect because now i'm looking at the um, at the sock yeah boom yeah you can you can, can you see the the, the sock which it wasn't really a sock uh, it was an in it was um it was a thing it was um ah here is even better with daniela my dear daniela this it was a bag a bag that my my granny she needed like uh, she handmade for me to hold the the recorder so yeah i mean that's that's creativity that's just like uh that's you know when you are italian you you know how to improvise basically this is a skill that we have uh, also Mose he knows is like when when we were in Kenya I guess you saw me doing a couple of things uh, uh, let's say which might have been considered weird <laughs> but they work because at the end always remember that whatever works for in this case for your sound uh, do it it's like there is there will not be like people won't tell you like uh, ah but you use a sock ah but you did this ah but you did that people at the end of the day will tell you whoa it sounds good whoa it sounds bad so you can the only thing you can do is like use whatever you have to make the thing sounds good so if you need a pop filter and you don't have it use a sock 
use a scarf. There was a, a time I I was shooting a, a short movie, the dead cat, so the cover got um, got got messed up with water, so I couldn't use. I couldn't put like something wet on a microphone worth one thousand dollar, of course. I ended up using a scarf, like I took a sore throat the day after, but uh, but it worked. I mean, of course, it was a last minute thing, like a quick fix, but it worked. But this is more like, you know, us, if you put an Italian, uh, whatever, we always find a way to, to improvise. That's our... Um, that's our, our our thing, no? As... Wait a second. Mm. Like we always find a way to improvise. We always um, fix ourselves, let's say, without thinking, you know, too much about <laughs> the process. You know, the result is what matters. It's also what in um, in fitness and gym is called the Bulgarian method, no? Like Bulgarians, they focused on a specific exercise, on a specific thing, without caring at all about the process. They just care about that specific movement, specific things. So the result was more important uh, than the process in that in that specific case. Well, same in audio, it's like, I might tell you, use the reverb in this way, use the compression in this way, do this, do that, uh, always push the levels in this way, do this routing. But at the end of the day, what matters is, does it work for you? Yes? No. Like, that, not even for you, for like for the sound. Does it sound good for what you are doing? So of course we know going back to you know to what we already know like so a reverb needs to be used in that way etc etc we know that that's that's a structure like that is made for us to not have like to have less headaches later for example uh, if we have a, a session with 100 tracks no if we put like reverb in a serial fashion compared to, to the track. So every track will have its own individual reverb, like open as a plugin. The moment we have to change even a parameter, doing a very small fine tuning uh, thing, we lose a lot of times because we love to fine tune it like 100 times. So even if it's three seconds, multiply it for 100, it will become 300 seconds. So something that takes three seconds will become five minutes. You know, it's like, it's too much, no? So for this, we, we need a structure. We need a structure to, to know to how to, opti to, to, to optimize our time, no? But then like our individual and single creativity will be will make possible us to think about think outside the box so a compressor can become a reverb a reverb can become something we use for sound since for sound synthesis so it will stop to become an effect but it will be part it will be an intimate part of the of the sound generation so this is i think is like where the biggest innovation will come I saw a lot of things like yes, learn, learn, learn how to make your beat without knowing music, which is like know how to prepare a meal without know how to cook. It's like doesn't make sense at all, no. Or or no, like write your book without know how to write. Does it even make sense? So the biggest innovation will actually come from that not from mirac miraculous softwares or this online mastering i'm seeing uh, online automatic mastering six dollars per song whoa so hmm that's that's not the future that that's something else because nowadays everybody can be 
a sound engineer. The same way everybody can stream, no? The same way everybody can have his uh, shows. Is 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 a fifteen minutes of popularity the one predicted by by Andy Warhol? No. The same way we can do this, like now, everybody can have his songs produced. So that's another thing. That's not the future. That is artificial intelligence, which in some cases it works, but uh, it works technically. So an artificial intelligence doesn't think out of the box. It applies whatever is technically correct. So maybe that thing technically will even sound okay. But is that technically right? Uh, is also sounding good. So that's the that's the thing. No, for this I'm saying that is not the future. Or there is uh, this new now they are selling. What's the new thing? They are selling for sixty dollars, which is uh ah only few items left. Though even if you go now today, you'll find that thing at sixty dollars at at um, sixty dollars minus 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 twenty percent. There is a permanent discount. It's basically a pack of MIDI files containing all the chords that you can do. You you. you just open <laughs> that zip file i don't know how it comes and then you drag you want c major you drag c major in your session you move things around boom you have your your song your loop your whatever you want but this is not the future this is not innovation this is like scam no i did a meme um, um a meme the other day uh about about that let me let me play it let me play it for you so we can uh, we can laugh together no i've used the uh, filthy frank just to <laughs> just to have a laugh mm, about it uh, no this course that they promise you everything that you can do everything with it you'll become a super good and super skilled sound engineer or music producer in this case uh, was it this i think is this let me see is it playing or not why it's not playing Ah, okay, yeah. But it's okay, you can find it on actually on my on my page. And so basically, yeah, that that that's not that is not innovation. That is scamming. That is me trying to sell you something. So for me it's important to tell you that it's cool, to tell you that is the future, to tell you that you can do a lot of things with it. But again, like Miracles in audio do not exist. Uh, like those things again, is like me selling you chords. If you tell me that you're selling me chords, we are okay. But of course you cannot tell me, whoa, with this, uh, with this is like, uh, you can do a super cool song you'll become the new beethoven or the new drake you know just to to, to do a more um, a recent a more modern quote now and then again my student knows that i'm obsessed not really obsessed but i love pink floyd as you can see by the way on the on the still image i put why because in a period of time where yes things are coming out uh, but not so much like this group of people this band was able to take the technical element no think about it out of the box and make art out of it 
which is if you think is kind of i won't say weird but it's kind of um, difficult no it's like okay let me think about these headphones has i don't know something to hold my candles no or make those headphones in a in a in a masterpiece in an art masterpiece that is the key so it's not me selling you a pack of cord and telling you ah oh, mind blowing yo yes if you are the kind of producer that needs to to hear music to get inspired wait then you are not a producer then you are a art thief then we are having a problem because then and this happens especially when people don't know these things because it's also it's also difficult to find your orientation you no know, in this kind of market everyone tries to sell you to sell you something everyone tries to uh telling you that whatever they have is the coolest thing so it's even difficult for them to know what is i mean in italy we would say to differentiate between poop and chocolate i mean both of them they look brown both of them they are you know that kind of uh, text you are so it's different to 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 differentiate if you don't know uh how chocolate it's supposed to taste and yeah, the, the key is that, the key is that this vastity of choice with, we could say a scarcity of professional knowledge, even professionals know, I mean, I, I, I taught in a college for 15 months and uh, Haman even said the name of that, that college in the chat. And there the professionals were like, ah, I bought a set of six, seven, eight, I don't remember, uh, wireless microphone, transmitter plus receiver, and they are not working. My natural answer to that teacher was, me, I'm surprised that those things even arrived, even exist, like physically. Because as a professional, you should know that with 150 euros or so 150 dollars maybe you can buy a very basic microphone no even the microphone i'm using now it's a microphone i use for uh, on set like for movies 150 dollars costed uh, it, it was the cost of the fluffy of the dead kitten so you can understand no like that the cost of this thing is very is very high right or not things that do miracles do not exist so yeah basically i think like to not to wrap but to give you a focus point of view i i think that the innovation in audio it won't be in the thing in the object in the software it will be in the way of how we use those things so of course the rule no the technicality it's important like it's important to know uh, that a reverb should not be used as an insert but why because marco said so no because you you can't take five minutes to do something that would take you normally three seconds so it's important to do it, to, to know the technicalities behind in order to bend that rule and make it yours. And again, use the reverb to create a sound, like a sound as an instrument, um, or to use a compression as a reverb. Or again, like in the example of the theremin, do you all know the theremin? That, that that instrument that you play without touching it, no? Let me see if I can find, uh, if I can find something like a picture about it or, or a small, a small video that you can um, play without touching. Ah, to laugh, 
is like steel from uh, Rob Scallion. You see this this one, this one here, the the one that is playing being played by the chick. Ah, really. this one so basically with this hand the lady she's controlling the pitch and this controls the volume yeah it's terrible no worse than violin nothing can be worse than a a, a bad played violin <laughs> like that that is the thing at least with a theremin you can say i'm doing an experimental uh, song for the B side of the EP we are going to sell for the Japanese market. There is always this option, but with a violin. Mm -mm. So basically, guys, this instrument, uh, it uh, it was invented with like from a technical mistake. Like Leon Theremin was this uh, Russian guy that was doing a lot of things in terms of engineering. But when he was a, a young, um, a young uh, let's say, soldier, no? When he was serving the Russian army, he worked as a, um, as a radio, as a radio guy. You know, this guy that uh, used to, to set the radio bridges uh, for communication. And he discovered that whenever he was going close to the amplifier, there was a tone that was playing, you know, a kind of buzz bzzz, that you can still experience it nowadays. If, for example, uh, like next time you'll play an electric instrument, especially a guitar, try to put your guitar with the amplifier on and all connected. Try to, to move the, ampli the guitar closer and farther from the amplifier. You'll hear that buzz. He said, whoa, that is cool. Let's make a an instrument out of it so you see problem no it's like a, a buzz it's a noise knowing the technicality behind it because even to 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 think about a theremin you need to know how electricity works etc etc create no think about that principle out of the box and create something that is still surviving up to now I mean, Teremin, uh, as we see, this video is from May 2019. Brads say that um, that, that um, is causing got, got one. So it's still something that, is, that you can find, no? Even if you want to, uh, to build one. A super basic model, uh, we don't need to know rocket science. Uh, uh, just let me let me look for a, a schematic. A quick one. So then, Teremin schematic. Just a quick search on Google, no? Uh, this is no, this is just the volume thing ah, something like that something very simple actually sorry guys but here in Italy we have this tradition of fireworks for New Year's Eve and people are starting now. Let me just increase the size so you can all see. Uh, boom. So for example here no you can see this is a those are a bunch of resistor, a bunch of condenser. Uh, we have what do we have yeah, a couple of transistors the antenna for the tone control and the volume is like this you give it to anyone half a day boom 
by that time sorry those are tubes by that time it took like you can imagine no yes but it's hard to be creative in our days a lot of things are already been done on guitar for example feedback distortion a lot of things has been already experimented yes but at this point isn't like the time to re to even rethink the concept of git of the guitar like as a principle as a working principle as a working idea no so what could be the innovation of the guitar so you have to synthesize the concept of the guitar something that vibrates not the string that you pick and it vibrates so what it can be maybe just to, to nini a guitar could start to be like something that uh, instead of the fretboard you might have i don't know a touch screen and that touch screen yes it controls the pitch but it also controls uh, some parameters of the sound generation uh, somehow no the concept of the, the, the guitar is there far away but is evolved uh, is it the right thing will it work we don't know or for example mm, use the guitar i don't know again with the reverb no use the guitar as a controller for the reverb again a step further so you understand that now i don't know but it's about rethinking the whole concept again reverb it uses is be used to simulate environment spaces and do a series of things used to create your sound used to give you know to to to, to add element on your on your sound uh, maybe we can do the same with the guitar or maybe we can i'm going to say something very strong so don't don't report this video on twitch okay maybe we can eliminate the concept of the guitar maybe we don't need a guitar anymore no we need something else which is not the digital version of a guitar which is not an electronic version of a guitar but maybe we need the guitar to to do something different totally different high tech and music must be mixed with care yes but i agree with it eh? because otherwise it's like something good as the auto tune the auto tune could be it will let's say become a cancer in the music industry uh, auto tune wonderful technology which i use it in my mixes but i use it from a technical point of view it's using a destructive way like you 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 kill a voice in that way no so i take and music must be mixed with care yes and no in a sense that uh, the development of music is or let's say your creative arts okay in general is really entangled with with technology think about the video tracking technology no so i can tell to to, to my software to put uh, to put something an image here on my hand i move my hand and the image comes with me no the tracking is called tracking technology that technology was invented uh, for the missiles so from the the the, the, the military and it opened up a series of possibilities in the music industry that we couldn't imagine in japan like the innovation uh, they are it has already been a few years like uh, with, with the vocaloids so basically it's a software that sings for you the software you have different voices and they sing for you <laughs> so you don't even need a singer no it's like uh, whoa whoa 
or even if you think uh, as a software like the tool we used uh, when studying music band in a box this software you could tell him okay i want to play jazz i want to play bossa i want to play soul funk etc etc those are the chords this is the key give me the structure plus play plus plus press play sorry i was, I was talking in chinese uh, press play and the software generates for you like a a song <laughs> that you can use to study etc etc so for this was called band in a box and now we can do it with vocals so innovation yes no maybe for from a side yes of course it's an innovation from an, a lot of other point of view that might be just you know a shiny a shiny something that can make you blind no so my opinion innovation is not in the thing yes the vocaloid is an innovation uh, but it's a phenomena yes the um, the auto tune is an innovation but those things like the real innovation is in how we use these things, not in the thing itself. So that's my point of view. Uh, yeah, you, you are very conservative. I was reading that, that comment again. Uh, yes, but if you think about the original old guitar, which let me find the English name, sorry for my ignorance. So in English that fast we can say the lute, the lute. Mm. Uh, of course, like if you think about the lute as a ancestor of the guitar, so we take the, the lute and then we take mm, Matthew Bellamy you know, from the Muse which I think, in my opinion, it expresses one of the highest point of innovation with the guitar. You understand? You see like that there is a big gap. No? So I take good or bad. It's an evolution. It's an evolution. It's something that we must take into consideration. We must take into account. The problem is how you use it. Again, think about no wine like a glass of wine every day it's even healthy in italy and brats can confirm it in italy the doctor will advise you to take a glass of wine per day one glass not one bottle already if you take two glass it's already unhealthy no same with autotune you can use it to give that small sprint to the voice but like you use it a tiny bit. If you use it a lot, boom, you destroyed, you devastated a song. Think about, uh, I don't know, I don't even remember, I cannot even associate it because the autotune kind of destroys, not the timba, kind of destroys the humanity uh, behind the voice. So I cannot even recognize, but whichever trap artist, like it doesn't mask the lack of talent of a certain, you know, artist. But it masks what could be interesting in that voice, no? E now we, we, we think that a super pitched voice it's it's everything. No, think about Janis Joplin. Janis Joplin Summertime. Just to give you a title, no. That lady was very far from me from being pitch perfect, but her voice had a power, had an intensity that whoa <laughs> you feel it on your back and like 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 she's enter you <laughs> she 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 can enter she has that skill to enter inside you don't be malicious still uh now she's dead but imagine her we don't know to you no no you 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 would have uh, you would have lost the askiness on her voice. You would have lost that uh, that feel, that natural feel, no? In favor of a good pitch. Uh, mm. Well, that could be 
a revival that revivals often lead to innovation eh? if you think about it uh, again it's taking an element from the past understanding its grammar and translate it into another language that's that's a revival if it's done in the right way so it's giving your tribute no to something but again giving it a modern context so yeah this is what basically i think about uh, innovation it's not what but it's how and again you can see this in the kitchen no you see it Andre, uh, you see it brads that um, that uh, creative is hard to be creative in our days think about the kitchen like different kitchen style different cooking ways nowadays the innovation is not in what they cook but is in how so maybe they will still cook pasta for you but instead of boil the pasta make the sauce they will um, cook and um, this uh, how is it called uh, this uh, void cooking this is this ah wait in english i lack this english uh, dictionary in terms of cooking the vacuum packed cooking no they might cook it for you vacuum packed so you see it doesn't change what they are cooking for you is how is the process and of course the process is important because it highlights different uh features of what you're eating what you're listening what you're playing etc 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 banally we think that the old recordings are more warm also because also and especially because we hear that the dust of the vinyl no so you are listening to an lp to a very old vinyl you hear the uh, the little um, uh, I call it whispering dust. I don't know how to to even do the mimic, but this small dust sound. Uh, so for us that that is warmed. So maybe maybe an innovation, a good innovation, could be in translating that whispering dust into a technology to make digital recordings even more. Uh, even more warm no not necessarily destroying or, or annihilating the the guitars uh, though i'm a bass player and i'll be very happy to see that day <laughs> uh, with my with my eyes no <laughs> so um, but without going that far it's like maybe you can translate that aspect of that dust no like let's understand why it's warm why that dust makes that sound being warm translate it into not even into a plugin into something that it's already in the workflow and uh, and for this for example now six months ago i spent uh, i don't know was it six six hundred euros to to upgrade my my pro tools which i regret maybe just because it's avid the, the oh <laughs> that's another chapter but i was looking around and i found this uh new digital audio workstation called uh, harrison mix bus so it's a digital audio workstation so it's a pro tools but the digital audio workstation is already modeled on an old analog mixer so harrison it's a it's a manufacturer that mainly made uh, analog mixers so they translated that thing into the the digital workflow so a bit of of randomness maybe mm, the, the the randomness of the of the analog no 
uh, with digital we can we can save something we can reproduce it and we'll be sure that every time we'll reproduce that thing will always be the same series of zeros and one bam 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 without any without any margin of error it will be that with analog again maybe we have that small particle of dust that in that moment is eating the playhead or the needle uh, if we reproduce it three days later it won't be there uh, or with tubes today you know we have a temperature and a humidity so our our tube will sound in a way tomorrow it will sound totally different so it depends it's it's how to integrate these things in what we already have maybe no so it's, it's to think not for the new things to come but um, but in how to use what we have to create what we don't have whoa <laughs> sorry for the the the, the 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 games of white the game of whites uh, but yeah basically in almost i mean i won't say i won't say almost 20 years even if they are almost 20 years of me being directly or indirectly in this industry and in this span of time you see a lot of things you know happening but again it's always oh this new software allow me to work faster this new software allow me to mm, do this with this level of detail this plugin will allow me to reproduce the the reverb of the Sydney um, orchestra hall. Uh, that that other this other reverb will allow me to uh, sample the reverb of my Lou and put it in my song. But I haven't seen something as big as the wax cylinder for example no to go back on that uh, on that video i was telling you i haven't seen that which is kind of sad maybe maybe not but i just seen you know us being fed forcefully fed uh, with this new thing this is new we can do things that we never done before we can do etc etc we can modify this we can modify that but even if we go on this website uh, which i love no it's called uh, plugin boutique again my student knows what is it about it's a website i love and uh, is where I basically buy everything that is sound related at a very at a very good price like over the year I was able to to build my my sound library without spending a lot like I have a sound a plugin library worth uh, I won't lie if I tell you several thousands of dollars that you have not spent more than one hundred dollars to build it plugins boot plugin boutique or plugin booty how do they say in kenya <laughs> it's uh it's one of the reasons so even if you go here you now uh, let's go on the deals i'm not doing a sponsorship guys eh? so they are not giving me anything the first one, Accusonus era, uh, era for voice leveler. So this basically it's something that automatically levels your voice. Uh, so it will avoid us doing the fader running. The, 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 sorry, fader, fader the riding let me put the 
camera here like the riding of the of the fader no because it does it automatically for us we say okay i want this level i don't want to go above i don't want to go below below ba 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 is it new <laughs> do we really need it like do we really need another another issue of it like if we are even uh, like for example 100 years ago for my granddad going to work meant to go to the mine to physically no to go to a cave and mine and of course he was tired now if he, as a sound engineer if now we are even tired uh, to to go and do the the fader driving it's like <laughs> what are we going to do what's our role then we shouldn't complain because a robot no is mastering for us again break tweaker this is a stata edit you feed it with a sound and it adds it breaks it and remodulate it in a cool way which is a nice thing innovative maybe yes maybe no but this could be a thing of course yes for 50 dollars like full price no but for 50 dollars i might if if i was making a lot of money by making beats yes but since i'm more of a mixing and mastering person it doesn't make sense but you see it's like always a, a, an issue like for example now isotope ozone 9 what's 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 different from the version number eight i don't see that thing i don't see like this innovation coming maybe in the graphic interface in the user interface do we need it Oh, oh the field this for example uh, this is a good a good making of um, for plugins or the field i have two plugins of them both of them paid one dollars like one so this is what i was i was telling you and they really I, I i put them in all in all my mixes in all my tracks so the best two dollars i spent <laughs> Ever. so you see like what i was telling you with innovation now these things are on sale <sighs> this is what the market the market is offering now again another auto tune but now we love and not now we will love it's not a future thing it's already here it's already present we already have auto singers We really want to go there. Mm, I don't know. Individually, we cannot change much, but it should be mostly about intellectual integrity, I guess. Ah, you see, ah, there is a banjo instrument for free, which I might download. On this website, you'll find also tons of uh, of um, sound sound things for free, of plugins for free. Uh, again it's telling me pro tools no so sad face sad meme oh for example another website don't crack dot uh, com this is still a good a good online store uh, but again those are the thing yes the plugin that will give you um super hi-fi drum uh, drum velocity or drums feel but there is nothing really in time at least of plugins no of innovation yeah there might be that dw that allow you to work touch okay uh buon appetito buon appetito we, we are almost done so if you have any question you can pause it you can do it now and then you'll uh, you'll watch my answer uh, on the offline version of the video 
So yeah, that's the that's the thing digitally. We could do more, I guess. But it's about our mindset. It's what we have to change in order to do. So uh, let's have let's have space to some question. I would like also to to stop the live in a uh, in few minutes. So if you have any question, even on WhatsApp, guys, if you are too shy to write on the um, on the chats on the on the WhatsApp chat, like go ahead. Don't be. Do not be shy. Okay, yeah. Well, what's your favorite digital audio workstation? Guys, you know, um, Pro Tools in terms of workflow is my cup of tea. I've started with Pro Tools. Uh, I've tried with other things, but again, a digital audio workstation, guys, is just a set of tools. What you can do with Pro Tools, most likely you can do it with Ableton. Uh, you can do it with Cubase, you can do it with Sonar. Of course, it's like Pro Tools is optimized for a set of operation. Is for mixing, for mastering, recording, not really composing. Like if I, if I start to compose with Pro Tools is because uh, I'm repenting from some scene, no? I, I, I don't know, I still, I, I've stolen something to repent, I compose in Pro Tools. After one hour of composing in Pro Tools, I, I will have paid for all my scenes. Same, if I want to mix in Ableton or Ableton, hey, wow, wow. I'm wondering what <laughs> I could have made. Uh, like for example in Ableton you don't even have doesn't even show you like um, a scale on the view meter it's like green yellow red but Ableton it's whatever best you have to do live composition no uh, okay I've used Arizon Mixbus but you don't really hear the analog beat you are talking about. Well, uh, that 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 analog beat for Harrison Mixbus. Of course, first of all, it depends on what you are listening, what what you are using to listen. Like now, me, I'm using um, these headphones, Adam Studio SP Pro Five. I've um, I've been crying about having them for one year, my student knows, uh, and I have, I had to sell one, one, one of my kidney to get, uh, to get this pair of headphones. But of course, with those headphones, I can even hear the texture of every single, uh, like in every single bell of a tambourine, you know, the tambourine, uh, that, that instrument, like when it's playing again, here yeah, the the single grain, you know, uh, because because you pay a lot for them. The level of detail is big, and it's good like that. I mean, it, they are made uh, to be that precise. So of course, with those headphones, uh, like you you hear the analog bit, uh, but it's not like it's not a, a, a hiss, no, because a lot of analog uh, of plugins that claim to add. Uh, let's say analogicity. Uh, I don't even know if I invented a new word. Uh, Adam Adam Studio S S P Pro Five. Don't faint when you when when you see them. Uh, the analog, like for example, in the Harrison Mix Bus you have to make it sound analog it's not an option it's something that you should know more or less how hard you should you should push the levels no 
So when you enter a certain range, you start to hear that kind of uh, small, small distortion, which individually on one track won't make a difference. But if you mix together 50 tracks, makes a difference. Or in how those tracks are mixed together. On how these things are mixed together. Again, I can tell you that I'm preparing, um, I don't know, Wellington beef, no? Which is a very compli complicated recipe. The meat has to be cooked in a way, the crust has to be cooked in another way, the filling, etc., etc. So one thing is to present to you, like the, the, the Wellington beef well made, well cooked, with all the, the things in place. One, another thing is to present to you the, the, the piece of beef, raw mushroom, some crust, no? Eh, of course it's different. Uh, DB sub taking in an Ethernet cable. Well, that's a technology that even when I, even when I started to do my internship, uh, uh, it was already there. Mm, well, the advantage is basically an Ethernet is a cable that is made to uh, welcome digital data. What does it mean? That what is traveling on that cable is not sound. It's a series of zeros and one. So first of all, it won't be subject of external interferences. So if I go there with my phone on the cable, you won't hear the bleep 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 because it's um, because it's um, it's digital already, so that that information will be discarded in the codification. Then, since it's digital, you can have more data traveling on that, on that line. So maybe with that Ethernet cable, you can feed different speakers without a loss of power. No, then there is the distance. So digital data can travel very long distances without uh, losing quality or intensity. Uh, now then the, 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 the mass of, of thing, you know, the physical thing itself is like a thing is to roll a cable of this diameter 150 meters long, no? 100 or 50 meters long. Uh, you need if it's 100 meters long you need eight people like to to no to, to lift it and moses since i've been doing like live sound with him he reminds uh he, he, i guess he remember when we were folding that snake cable it was small it was just a 32 channel 20 20 meter 10 meters something very small and it was you know such a bad thing to do with an Ethernet cable, you have a very thin cable, like maybe even smaller than my, actually, this size. Oh, this is an Ethernet cable. You have a cable of this size, handling it, you know, to roll it, it's a second, it's rolled. Uh, to transport it, to purchase it, uh, it's less, you know, the, the, the copper, the, 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 the metal we use, the metal alloy we use inside the, the cable as a cost. A thing is to fabricate something that it's 200 grams of copper. Another thing is like something that does a weight of 50 kgs of copper, no? The maintenance, uh, the availability in the market, uh, it has a lot of advantages. Mm, so yes if you can go for this kind of technologies which, which is expensive but again maybe you will pay uh, this kind of speakers you will pay I don't know maybe $1000 let me just guess a price the cable to connect them if you want a medium quality with $100 you're okay 
if you're using the old snake and maybe you need another one thousand dollars of cable to um to have something of low of low quality so guys don't forget to click on the heart shaped button here so you can follow me um i'll be also do occasional streams during the week i will bring you some gameplay now let's see with with tony the guy that was in chat before we want to bring you destiny which is uh this this free to play uh cooperative multiplayer game i want to bring you satisfactory which is a very nerdy game uh, of course this on tuesday as we have our talk time as we can talk about you know problems things what does it mean be young what does it mean to grow how to look for a job what to put in your cv what's a recommendation letter so even let's say having a chilled chill time as we play a video game together thursday we are having um we are having mix mastering live so if you want you can even send me your song your session i'll do mix and mastering uh, with pro tools of course live streaming as we comment it together and then sunday audio talks um i'll take uh, uh it wasn't a class this was a, a talk you know <laughs> But still, as I talk, if you if you still have other question, keep 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 asking. Yeah. So and I and, and then yes, it's like Sunday we'll talk about audio related stuff. Mm, of course, WhatsApp, my socials, then will be will be showing in a in a few. Uh, you can follow me there. You can contact me there. You can ask me for things there. And we will talk about them here soon also the youtube channel will be online let me know give me a feedback on how this live was and uh, guys share it follow me if you have amazon prime and you want to sustain me uh, here here you have three little um, circles to subscribe with Am uh, with amazon prime is free otherwise you can down you'll find a series of way that you can support me by joining my class on skillshare by mining with crypto tab using the link below you can donate me even even one dollar guys i'll buy coffee i'll be very happy and then yes we'll see i'm also planning to buy a few goodies like i found a, a budget physical compressor I, i'd love to buy uh, and um, and we'll see so i hope you enjoyed uh, this time with me guys mm, i'm not receiving any more question so if you liked uh, the live please share follow um, comment be here it's not a class it's not i'm not teaching we are talking okay on sunday we are talking about audio stuff on Tuesday we are talking about uh, live things on Thursday we are going to mix actually you can even send me your multi-tracks session I'll do mixing uh, I'll show you how to mix I'll show you you know some cool techniques here and there but again don't take it as a class it's more or less I show you how I would do it so that's uh, that's a thing so Thank you to have stayed with me for one hour and 34 minutes. I'll, uh, I'll really appreciate. I hope to see you soon. And uh, guys, as I'm going to click on the end of the stream, follow me on all my social. And in the meantime, let's rock. <laughs>